Hey everyone, this is Jake here with Tell You How, and uh, today I've got a tutorial for you gamers out there that uh, happen to play PC games like myself. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, um, they do have a mod that comes along with them called DayZ, as you can see from my wallpaper here. And uh, for those of you that know what the mod is, you know that it's pretty fun and I, I like to play it myself quite often. But uh, for those of you guys that know what it is and haven't gotten it yet and need to know how to get it, this video is for you. So uh, this is basically just going to be a tutorial on how to install the DayZ mod in, on Arma 2 slash Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. So for those of you that don't know anything about the mod or anything about the game, what you're going to have to do first is you're going to have to go into your Steam, go into the store, and then search Arma 2. It should come up. You're going to have to buy the combined operations because in order to run the mod, let's see, yes, that is my correct birthday. In order to run the mod, you do have to have a copy of Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead. And for those of you guys that do have them, and make sure they're installed correctly on, in your Steam library, make sure you open each game and run it to the menu at least before you install this mod. Alright, so now that you have that done, you're just going to want to go down to Start, Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Alright, so this is basically the path right here at the top on where you're going to need to be throughout a good portion of this video. So first of all, what you're going to need to do before you do anything is you're going to need to create this folder here. It's not going to be here. Like I say, I already have the mod, so mine's already created. But you just want to click New Folder and title it at DayZ. It doesn't matter if it's capitalized or anything. So you just want to do that. You want to open that up, and then you're going to create this add-ons folder. So once again, new folder, create it, title it add-ons like so, and then that's pretty much it there. So just keep this open. Don't exit out of that quite yet. Then you're going to go into your web browser here, whatever you choose, doesn't really matter. You're going to search Daisy Mod. Sorry, it's kind of hard to type right now. It's the first one, DaisyMod.com. You're going to go download alpha version, since it's still an alpha mainly. going to go down, I use uTorrent because I just find it easier to download things that way. So you're just going to click torrent, and like I say, I'm not going to do this myself just because I've already had it done. You're just going to click torrent. Like I say, in order to use this torrent factor, you're going to need to have uTorrent installed in your computer. You can just go U, you can just click, you know, install uTorrent, it's free, everything's fine. So uh, do that, make sure you download it, I believe it's like 150 megabytes, so as soon as that downloads, open, open, sorry, open that file, and then once you open that file, you're going to see, you're going to see all these files right here, you're going to have to open it, um, I believe it's just going to open straight up, and you're going to have them in a folder, and basically, like, pretend that that folder's right here, you're just going to have to think kind of visually here, since I'm not going to do it, obviously, uh, you're going to like picture that folder being here with all these files in there and picture this folder here being empty so what you're gonna do is you're just basically gonna highlight all those files and drag them over here to the add-ons folder and then you're gonna copy and paste them in here to where it's gonna look like this so you're just gonna be, you know you're basically gonna go into uTorrent open them up copy and paste all those files right here and there should be there should be this many of them I'm not sure if there's gonna be any more in the newest update so that's the first thing you're gonna do the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Armor 2. It's already right here. I'll have this I'll have all these links in the description by the way. It's going to be armor2.com/beta-patch.php. And now you have all these builds of Armor 2 and or sorry, of DayZ. And basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to um, you're going to have to mainly install the latest one. But if you happen to play on a server like I do, like I play on a specific server with, you know, specific updates and stuff like that where it doesn't necessarily always have the newest build but it has a certain build that requires to be that server now if you just play on any server and you don't it doesn't really matter to you then I would just install this latest beta patch at the top you're just gonna click it and it's gonna it takes a few minutes to download even if your internet connection is pretty quick like mine is it still limits it to being pretty slow so um, once that gets done I'll let you guys know where to go from there Anyways, while that's downloading, we can go back to computer, and I probably should have kept this open, to be quite honest, times 86, and, oh, 
open this back up. So like I said, this is going to be your basic folder here. Alright, so what we're going to need to go here is, let's just pretend, I'm pretty sure I actually already have that downloaded. So, uh, yeah, I already have that downloaded right here, so I'm just going to cancel that. Alright, so, it's not the same build, but it, they're all the same. So you're just going to say, show in folder, and then like that, or you can just open it up. I don't even know why I just did that. Whatever, whatever, you can open it with 7-zip, win, win raw, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So right here, you're going to have this application file in here. You're going to have to double click this. I'm not necessarily going to run mine, or I guess I will, whatever, it doesn't matter. I can always run it again. You're going to run it like that. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to update the Arma 2 OH version, blah, blah, blah. Yes, and then you click down here, and it does it like almost instantly, so you don't have to worry about that. Once that does that, you're going to have to go back into your, like I say, Arma 2 Operation Airhead folder. What I just did, what it did was it created the expansion. It, cre it pretty much just created this entire folder right here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go back into here, back into your Arma 2 Operation Airhead, double click expansion, and go into beta, and then you're going to see this file right here. So basically you're just going to keep this window open, go back into computer, pretty much open up so you have two windows. Alright, so now I have the Armor, uh, yeah, the Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead on the right, and the Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead Expansion Beta folder on the left. So basically, it's gonna, once you update what I just did, it's gonna give you this file right here. And basically, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click this file and drag it into the Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. It's gonna say, would you like to move it and replace it? You're gonna click yes. So once you do that, you've pretty much installed the Daisy update, or not Daisy, the whole Daisy mod pretty much but the last thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go set the launch options for Daisy so it launches it instead of just Operation Arrowhead so you're gonna go back into Steam right click on Operation Arrowhead go down to properties set launch options and then you're gonna have to have this big file right here I'll have this in the description so just go down in the description pretty much click um, you know just highlight all of it control copy and paste it into here and once you have all of this pasted into here you're gonna have to click OK and then click close and then once you launch Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead I'm not gonna launch actually launch and play it for copyright reasons obviously but uh, once you launch it it should load for a second just because it takes a second to load and come on Alright, once it happens to load, you're going to see DayZ right here instead of the set of the company branding. I forget what it is. I think it starts with the B. Um, anyways, instead of seeing the regular branding, you're going to see DayZ. Wait a moment. And with the DayZ, in, in, uh, yeah, with the DayZ mod installed, you can't play regular Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. So if you want to do that, just go back into the launch options and delete everything that you have. You're going to click multiplayer for whatever reason. And um, I'm not going to show you what server I play on. But anyways, you're going to click multiplayer. And uh, you should have all this information right here. It should be version 1.6.2.96895. Or, you know, whatever last numbers that you that you happen to download. Mine just happens to be this one. I know the newer one is updated, more updated than this. Um, but the main thing down here is it should say DayZ 1.7.2.6. Or the newest updated version of the DayZ mod. And the only way that you would find that out was by going to this. As you can see, the newest update is 1.7.2.6, and the one that I downloaded was 9. Point, or, yeah, 96895. So that's pretty much how you guys do that. Whenever a server, if you tend to play on one server by itself, if the server is never like, um, like if you try to search for the server and you can't find it, there's a really, really good chance that this beta patch right here has updated in the server has updated to that and you haven't done that yet so if you happen to like try to search for your server to play on it one day and it's not there come to this website here and then check the newest update because there's a probably a really good chance that they've updated and you haven't 
So pretty much to update that, just pretty much follow what I did. It's the same for all of these updates right here. These are all beta patches that update small things in the game. And these are like big updates like the actual mod. So uh, I hope that everything I did today helped you guys out. Uh, if it didn't, just leave, leave a comment below and just let me know what you're having problems with, if you're having problems at all. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. See you later.